Now, one of those protests happening last night in Portland, Oregon, and spiraling out of control with people throwing what the police are calling burning projectiles as officers respond with tear gas, and one protester gets shot and wounded while the gunman remains on the loose. Meanwhile, President-elect Trump calling for unity as he focuses on the upcoming transfer of power in Washington. Vice President-elect Mike Pence taking over for Chris Christie as the head of Mr. Trump's transition team, something campaign manager Kellyanne Conway called a pragmatic decision. It makes perfect sense to have Vice President-elect Mike Pence with this role because, he, the, first of all, most of the transition will go on in, in D.C., some of it here in New York, but, but also because Mike Pence will be the Vice President. Doug McCalloway is joining us now live from our New York City newsroom with more. Doug? Hi, Uma. You know, the pressure is really on this nascent transition team to power up so they can hit the ground running after Inauguration Day. And that's why it was announced yesterday that Vice President-elect Mike Pence will take over for Chris Christie as chairman of the transition team. They see Pence's Washington experience as something that could expedite staffing. Fox News has also heard rumblings as of last night that RNC Chairman Rice Priebus may have been given the White House Chief of Staff job, but nobody's confirming that, least of all, Priebus himself. You're being considered for chief of staff. Is that something you'd be interested in? Uh, I know you've gotten close to him over these many months. Would you want to do that? Uh, that's not something I'm talking about. Uh, I think it's something that, you know, a lot of newspapers speculate about. I'm happy doing what I'm doing. I Senator Jeff Sessions, one of the first to jump on the Trump bandwagon, is said to have the pick of any position he wants in a Trump administration. Other potential key White House staff posts might include campaign chief and Breitbart publisher Steve Bannon, a Trump loyalist Corey Lewandowski, and the first woman to head a winning presidential campaign, Kelly and Conway, who you just heard from there, as well as former New York City Mayor Rudy Giuliani. And Fox has now confirmed that on election night, Mr. Trump reached out to Mitt Romney, who had been so critical of Trump early in the primary season and while we don't know what was said in that conversation we're told that it may have led to this Romney tweet quote best wishes for our duly elected president may his victory speech be his guide and preserving the republic his aim the transition team is also contending with how to handle protests that continued for a third night and today as well in many major cities portland oregon probably seeing the worst of it with a lot of vandalism and one person being shot last night after a confrontation 26 arrests there Meanwhile, the road closures around the Trump Tower here in New York are making a terrible mess of traffic around here. As the city enters the busy holiday shopping season, the closures won't be lifted until January 21st, the day after inauguration. So people need to have a lot of patience around Absolutely. here. Absolutely. It's going to create quite a mess. All right, Doug, thank you very much. Good to see you. You too.